India's heartland and one of its biggest states, Madhya Pradesh is a land of infinite color and vivacity. Its district of Barwani, despite getting very little rainfall around the year, has today become a major hub for cotton and chili production. In fact, Barwani and its surrounding areas have today become famous as the region's chili belt, producing eclectic varieties of not just Indian chilies but exotic versions as well. But all was not well till some years back. Barwani is susceptible to low rainfall and high summer temperatures, which led to poor rainwater retention in the soil. It is also home to an undulating topography with a coarse soil that results in a high percolation rate and hence lower groundwater table and less tube well discharge. All these unfortunate circumstances combine to break the back of the farmers of Barwani. The land here has high gradient plus the soil layer is very thin. Below that it's all stony. Hence the productivity of the soil was very less which was the main problem. This is where IFCO's Barwani field unit stepped in to save the farmers. They initiated the Save the Soil program, a three-pronged strategy to combat all the ills that plague the farmers of this area. They introduced the concept of polymulched lime ponds, drip irrigation systems and water-soluble fertilizers, a system that has resulted in unprecedented increase in efficiency and has revolutionized crop productivity. When we combined all these activities under one program, the result was that the amount of water that was used to irrigate 170 hectares of land now irrigated close to 600 hectares of land. The second thing was that the pickings of chili and cotton increased drastically. Earlier, without drip irrigation, cotton production was just 15 quintals per hectare, but today it is 35 quintals per hectare. In terms of pure profit, earlier the farmer earned around 24,000 rupees per hectare. But after this, he is earning more than 55,000 rupees per hectare. This unique system has majorly helped the chili farmers of Parwani, helping them increase productivity of the local varieties. In fact, they are now venturing into plantation of foreign varieties of chilies as well, exports of which are giving them prosperous returns. Anand Paridhar and his brother are two of the farmers who have majorly moved into farming of the exotic Picador chili, and the upswing in their fortunes has been quite remarkable. Before I had poly munch and drip irrigation, I couldn't take full benefit of fertilizers. Crop productivity and yield was very low too. Today my yield has increased three times and we are getting good quality crops as well. Earlier my crops used to fetch low prices at the market because of inferior quality. But today that is not the case and I am earning good profit. And the productivity increases are not limited to the chili crop alone. Other crops have shown significant returns as well, with yields witnessing an increase of over 150% in areas where drip irrigation was installed. This has resulted in net income increases of over 250%, an unprecedented and welcome windfall for the farmers of Barwani district. untiring efforts of the local IFCO officers have made the farmers repose their utmost trust in them. They approach them for all kinds of advice, from helping construct polymulch line ponds and installing drip irrigation systems, to information on latest fertilizers and farming techniques from not just India but around the world. The helping hand provided is leading to the true emancipation of these farmers. In a land that was hilly, barren and cried out for rains, the efforts of IFCO have brought about far-reaching results. 
Their superior system of farming has brought about increases of over 200% in crop returns. From barren to blooming, the turnaround tale of Barwani district is an example to all of India of the importance of adopting modern farming techniques.